Well, boy, oh boy, this kid won't be gambling on the schoolyard anymore. That's right. A few weeks in juvie will do him some good. Wait. Words on the street, there's a drug deal going down near Elm. Check it out. Watch your butts. It sounds like it might be a setup. Sounds heavy. Uh, yeah, it could be. So they're gonna need backup. So Ramirez and I are available. I think they're gonna be fun. But you know what? If you're available, I could use that report on the insurance scam on the Murdoch case on my desk ASAP. Would you just stop it? Department's already taken away my position of chief of detectives. You gonna take away my dignity, too? Ramirez, would you, uh, dig up that file on the Murdoch case? Right. I am not taking away your dignity, Margo. I am assigning you a case. There's nothing left of the Murdoch fraud case, and you know it. There's nothing left but a bunch of paper to push around the desk. You know that. Don't you think you're overreacting? No, I'm not. Why are you relegating all the grunt work to me? It's part of the job. We all have our share. Read the job description. It's part of it. Grunt well, that's work. That's a real nice try, Lieutenant. You and I both know what this is about. This is about Tom and I asking you to surrender parental rights to Adam, isn't it? You are way off base, Margo. We are two professional people. There is nothing personal That's in this. That's such a load of bull, and you know it. This is completely personal. I believe you have work to do, detective. All right, if it's not about Adam, what's it about? What's it about, Hal? What do I have to do? I mean, how many wastebaskets do I have to empty here before you put me back out on the street for a high chill log? pill, would ya? Okay, okay, Margo, you are right. Yes, yes, I am intentionally lightening your caseload. All right, why? Why? You know why. What the hell do I have to do? Spell it out? No, don't bother letting me. P-T-S. Correct. All right. How long do I have to pay for going down in an airplane and walking away alive? Until I think you're ready to handle more stress. I am fine. I am fine. I am not going to go down the tubes. Why don't you talk to my doctor? Talk to Dr. Michaels. Talk to her. I see her twice a week. Talk to her. I know that, Margo, but the internal affairs counselor, Dr. Rodney, Dr. Rodney, Rodney I talked to Dr. Rodney ready. for ten minutes right after the crash. He doesn't know me. He doesn't know me. You know me. Hal, you know me better than practically anybody in this town. Look at me. I am not a lost cause. Will you wake up, Margo? I'm just trying to protect you. I don't want you to protect me. I want a case. I want a real case. I want to get back to work. And you will get a case, Margo. As soon as I think you're ready, you will get a case. I am case. ready now. Well, your lieutenant doesn't think so. My lieutenant is wrong. I am not going to watch my career go down the tubes. I am not going to go down to that file room and, and alphabetize rap sheets. I am not going to do it. All right. You want a case on the street? I'll give you a case on the street. Joe Friday hasn't had a walk all day. Oh, Take him for out. Oh, God As sense. a matter of fact, Joe Friday hasn't had a bath in a I'm long time. I'm not washing time. that dog. Yes, you are washing that dog. And if that dog isn't squeaky clean in half an hour, you're suspended. Get out of here. Come here. Sit. Oh, man. You are stinky. Do you need a bath? And I'll tell you something, Joe, buddy of mine. I'd work with you any day before I'd work with that guy again. The lineup for the witnesses in the Ruxton Hills robbery. You're about the right size. I want you to stand in, okay? Well, we gave Friday his bath. Yeah, he gave it right back to us. So, what's next on the list of things to do today? I say we hit the interrogation room, maybe rearrange the furniture. I see chintz everywhere. I think it'll make it very cheery for the perps. I'll get on that lineup thing, will you? I'll get back to you later. Oh, uh, what's the matter? No more yucks? No more really degrading assignments for me? Believe me, Margo, I, I take no pleasure in this. Yes, you do. I see that smirk on your face. Well, you do look a little bit like Flipper's sister. Oh, shut up. 
<laughs> Ramirez, get flip at a towel. Get one for yourself, too, will you? You got it, Lieutenant. It's a laugh riot. You make for a real festive station. Listen, Hal, I am a police officer. You use me. That's what the taxpayers pay me a salary for. That's correct. And in return for that salary, the taxpayers expect a degree of emotional stability on the street. All right, you know and I know that the PTS took a toll on me. But it's over. I'm fine now, I swear to God. When I am convinced of that, you will get a heavier caseload, I promise you. There's a hostage situation in a tenement over at Milltown. Beat okay. cops are going to need to back up. All right, you and Ramirez on the double. What? what? What are you doing? You cannot send them out there. They can handle it. No, they can't. They just made detective both of them. They don't know how to handle that back situation. Back off, Margo. They're sharp guys. They said they can handle it. You got it? Oh, got it. Got it. Excellent decision. And by the way, I don't think I have that Murdoch case on my desk. Yes, sir. Anything, sir. Anything for you, sir. I'll get right on it. But first, a little light dusting, sir. The superintendent's in your office, Chief. Thank you, Rose. Damn it! They need backup. And I am completely competent. Down. Perpetrator shot and wounded the landlord. I think he got it in the stomach. Oh, man. He's also got Ramirez in there, and he's threatening to waste him. They're barricaded behind the door. What the hell is Ramirez doing in there? Ramirez was trying to take him, but he got taken hostage instead. Listen up in there. My name is Margo Hughes. I'm a detective with the Oakdale Police. Looks like we got you locked up pretty tight, sir. You're not going anywhere now. Why don't you bring my friend out here to me and... and I'm gonna see what I can do to help you. Go to hell. They've been holed up in there for a while now, and I haven't heard a peep out of Ramirez. This never should have happened. Why weren't you covering your partner? What the hell were you thinking? I never got a chance to cover him. He, he spotted the perp and ran right after him, ended up in there. So what do we do next? We do nothing. You made a big mistake, Weber. We wait. We lay low and we wait. Rosie, do you know where Hughes went? Not a clue. How much longer can we wait it out? Well, he's obviously not ready to make his move. Well, shouldn't we do something? That landlord's gonna need a doctor if he's still alive, and Ramirez is... Shut Take it. I'm going in. Are you sure? Well, this guy's got a short fuse. You could be a sitting duck. Well, we'll find out soon enough, won't we? Detective Hughes is coming in, unarmed. Repeat. Unarmed. Stay back, lady. Uh, don't take me off. Don't make me use this again. I'm telling you, don't make me use this.
You won't use it. I swear. One more step, and that's it. You? You don't need a gun. Nice and slow. Give it to me. 